Hey everyone, it's Raph. Welcome back to my channel today. I am very excited to be filming the Hamilton book tag. I am four years late to this tag. However, I've just been looking for an excuse to talk about my favourite musical, my favourite songs in it, uh, as well as a bunch of books that correlate to those songs. And this was that excuse. So let's get straight into it. The first question is based off of the room where it happened. And that is what book world would you put yourself in? For this, I would choose The Spiderwick Chronicles by Holly Black. This was one of my favorite childhood fantasy book series. It basically follows two twins and their older sister as they get immersed in a world of goblins and fairies and magic within their own reality. When I was young I was just obsessed with this series. I would go to the library and borrow all of the books on fairy and goblin lore that related to this series. I would spend hours just drawing goblins and the world and things like that. So if I could live in any world it would definitely be this one. The next question is based off the Skylar sisters and that is what is a book featuring an underrated female character? For that I have to say Anne from Anne of Green Gables. She is so sassy and stubborn. She is I think the strongest willed female character uh, I've ever read. I need to reread this book because it's been years and I love the TV show. It's also my best friend's favorite book. So probably gonna get around to that soon. But yeah, definitely in. The next question is based off of my shot and that is talk about a character who would go after anything and not let anything stop them. For this, I have to without a doubt talk about Kaz Brecker from the Six of Crows duology. This is one of my favorite fantasy series ever. It is set in a world based off of Imperial Russia and it follows Kaz Brecker leading his gang of thieves as they go on heists, robbing different merchants and bad guys. Uh, I love it so much. Kaz is definitely an ambitious cutthroat character he would do anything if it meant it kept himself and his friend safe uh, and also if it meant he got some good coin out of whatever it was he was doing. The next question is inspired by Burn and that is what is the most heartbreaking end to a relationship you have ever read? Uh, for this I think I have to talk about the end of Little Fires Everywhere. Spoiler alert if you have not read this book but it was really sad to read Pearl having to leave all of the connections and friendships and relationships that she'd made uh, in Shaker Heights behind when her and her mum had to pack up and move again. I think it was especially heartbreaking because this was the first place in which she felt like she had really settled after an entire life of just moving around over and over again. So yeah, the ending of this was very sad. <laughs> The next question is one that I love and that is you'll be back. The question is who is the sassiest villain you've ever read? Uh, for this I have to say Crowley from Good Omens. He's not really the villain but he is a demon and so I'm just gonna say that counts. He is so sassy. I love his character uh, and his character's narration in this. He's just so blunt and straightforward. He says it how it is. He's hilarious. I would highly recommend reading this book just for the narration of the characters because it's brilliant. It's so witty. The next question is inspired by the song Nonstop and that is what is a book series you marathoned? For this I am going to talk about The Raven Cycle by Maggie Stiefvater. I read the four books in this series in three days. I did not get off my couch. I downloaded all of the um, ebooks on my phone and I just smashed them out because I loved this book series so much. This is a fantasy involving psychics and ghosts and magical forests and dream worlds. I love it so much. The characters again in this are incredible. I think um, The Raven Cycle and The Six of Crows duology are two of my all-time favorite YA fantasy books. So yeah, highly recommend them, but definitely <laughs> marathon this and I do not regret it. The next question is based off of Satisfied and that is, what is your favorite book featuring multiple points of view? For this, I have to talk about I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. This I think was my first ever YA contemporary read. It was a beautiful romance, but also family drama. It follows the perspective of two twins at two different points in time. So it follows Noah's perspective when the twins are 14 years old and Jude's perspective when the twins are 16 years old. And it alternates between these perspectives, showing how each twin's life, the family's life, their friend's life have changed before and after a certain event occurs. Not going to spoil it for you, read the book, highly recommend. Uh, but yes, definitely love the narration in this. The next question is based off who lives, who dies, who tells your story. And this is what is a book you think will be remembered throughout history? For this, without a doubt, I'm going to say The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I did speak about this in my recent video, so I'll link it. But basically this follows the story of Star as she's dealing with the murder of her best friend by a police officer. So it grapples with the really relevant topic of police brutality and the timeless topic of racism and systematic injustice. So yes, definitely 
definitely one that I think people 10, 15, 20 years from now will look back on and remember. The next question is based off of Helpless and that is what is a relationship you were rooting for from the beginning? For this I have to talk about Ari and Dante from Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. This is another YA contemporary romance and family tragedy slash drama. I love this book. It is just so sweet and wholesome uh, and it follows the coming of age of two Mexican boys living in America as they understand their family identity, their self-identity and where they fit in the world. Also the audiobook for this is narrated by Lin-Manuel Miranda himself so it fits perfectly with this tag and also is just beautiful to listen to. The next question is based off the Ten Jewel Commandments. The Ten Jewel Commandments? Commandments. The next question is based off the Ten Jewel Commandments and that is what is the best fight scene you've ever read? For this I have to talk about The Cruel Prince. Um, I did not think I was going to read this book first of all. This is also by Holly Black who wrote the Spiderwick Chronicles um, but this is a fairy book and I don't really enjoy fairy YA fantasies. Um, I didn't like Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas which is a little bit of an unpopular opinion but that's okay you know. But I really liked this and I picked up the second book as soon as I finished it. My favourite fight scene is actually in the second book. It's so cool. Basically this mortal girl is galloping away from um, a bunch of knights who are trying to track her down and kill her and she jumps onto this tree and freaking swings an axe at their heads and like decapitates a horse and it's badass and so cool. I actually highly recommend this so thank you Holly Black. And the last question is based off of what did I miss and that is what is a book series that you were late to reading? And for this I have to say Harry Potter by JK Rowling. Um, I read that for the first time two years ago I think, so I was 16 years old um, and I listened to the audiobook series. Up until the middle of the last book I stopped when, spoiler alert, Hedwig dies. Why did Hedwig die? I've got no idea why that was necessary. It broke my heart and so I just stopped reading and I never finished the series. There's probably something I should do. Uh, but yeah, for this I have to answer with Harry Potter, even though I am a self-proclaimed Harry Potter nerd. Maybe I'm a fake fan, you can decide for yourself, but you know, I'm gonna love it even if I read it way too late and never finished the series. <laughs> so yes, that brings us to the end of the Hamilton book tag. Please let me know if you have read any of these books or what your answers to these questions would be down below in the comments. I really appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!